and welcome back to Developing Four Dollars. We are now in the boardroom where we're doing the meat and potatoes of Developing Four Dollars. We're going to take the light bulb, which is the very beginning idea for the Allendale development plans, and we're going to end up with the money. In this particular case, there's going to be some curveballs. There's going to be some, some unique things. We got over here, we can see here that we have two, two different sites. We're going to have the actual, we're going to discuss the cost to, re, to, uh, to restore the historic train station, as well as the, um, as well as the tunnel. Rich, and my guess is Richard Ford. Richard, why don't you point out exactly? Is this, is this where the tunnel's going to go exactly? Uh, or? Almost close, sir. Almost Mark, close, this is the train station building yeah. outline here. Yeah. And what we see in red is, this, is the, going to be the new uh, platform for the GO right. uh, station, second GO station in Barrie. And our pedestrian tunnel is right here. So that will create a new linkage, pedestrian linkage, between Allendale that's been historically cut off from the waterfront uh, to directly to be able to access the site as well as the waterfront. So when we look at the idea in terms of starting the project off, the train station buildings have sat vacant since 1982. So the city in, in 2006 did a site-specific rezoning for it to allow for development on the site. It acquired the uh, station uh, buildings back right. and acquired the, the lands back from, from a, a developer that was going to develop the lands and went through a site-specific rezoning. Okay. 2008, we went to the market to see what interest was out there in terms of development opportunities. We wanted to attract private and uh, sector investment towards restoration of the train station building, right. as well as to see what development opportunity could exist. Okay. 2007, a new GO station happened in the south end of Barrie, and so we went to GO based on the success of that station opening right out of the, the, the blocks. It was really successful. All right. We said to them, let's do, a, let's do a business case, see if we can't get a second GO station into the downtown. Business case supported that there would be new ridership. So it was approved, and uh, now what we're seeing is basically the elements of that uh, train station is coming. Uh, so we we, we to took us. a we, sorry, didn't mean to cut you off, Richard, but we took a we took a shot. We are in the historic building, so there's, uh, I guess the from from you know the layman standpoint, we've got an old building. We need to get that restored to make it functional to 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 get us to which is the revenue side, which is going to be the, the people coming into town town, spending money things like that. Correct. So Richard, in terms of dollar spent, we, we, we discussed out there, I think it was seven million for the building and three million for the No, tunnel. let me, uh, I'll, let's lay out the cost. Oh, sure. So let's look at our total cost. Total the, co we'll put total at the, cro at the top, we'll put okay. city and then we'll put go. So train total. station restoration costs four and a half million dollars. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's the total is four and a half and then four basically and we have four and a half for the city and then uh, no contributions from go towards that. Okay. The go platform is, is cost uh, eight million dollars. The platform itself platform, is eight the million platform. dollars and all for the just some concrete. No, no, it's not just concrete. We're for talking crime. lights. We're talking lights. We're talking a oh, the cost of electricity. Heated platform. We're talking a whole host of things plus internal roads. Eight million internal bucks. Internal roads as well. So just let's put the numbers down and we'll see what it comes out. Okay. So you have eight million. Okay. There. The city's okay. The concrete. City, I just gotta now. write concrete. No, I can't believe it. Just concrete. The city's lights. Con it, no, it's 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 a host of things. Two point seven million dollars. Two point seven okay. right here. Okay. We also had the federal and provincial government contributions towards the GO station. So that's $5.4 million. 5.4. Now, there's in terms of uh, basically then what we have is a Gowan Street tunnel. So we just talked about the pedestrian tunnel that's going to provide access for the Allendale residents both to and right. from the waterfront. Right. So that cost uh, basically $3.75 million gross. Okay. Now, is, Total. That, is, that, is that in here somewhere? 3.75 right there. Right in here. That's correct. 3.7. Okay. The city's that's, for, that's for that's, that's for basically for a, a groundhog hole. No, it's, it's no, that's just for that. a hole in the ground. It's it's cra it's it's actually for 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 linking a community and, and allowing a community to get the to Gowan the, or the Allendale Allendale community, community okay. to the waterfront, okay. and as well as to get to go. Don't forget, we also have 150 go parking stalls on Gowan Street, so that's a way of crossing okay. to the station. So we have fifty thousand dollars a stall. We had no, not quite. Okay. One point six million dollars from the city. One point six million from the city. That's correct. All right. And then we have two point two million from go. So, okay, so let, so we we see that if you total this up, you've yep. got seven point six from go. Seven point six that's, from go. That's correct. Fourteen point four five, so fourteen and a half. Fourteen point. We'll let you round that up, and then twenty two over here, twenty two point one roughly. Okay. And these so are all in million. So, so that's millions millions of dollars of investment that's going on. Okay. So so again, let me just clarify. Fourteen point five million dollars came from the city. Correct. To contribute to the twenty two point one, out of that go contribute 7.6. Yeah. And now remember, that is including the Gowan Street reconstruction project. Fair enough. Which but what I want in any event. Like right? in any show, I always ask, where the heck did this 14.5 right. come from? Right. So it's a combination of tax 
uh, tax capital dollars, uh, okay. water rate, and various and development charges. Okay. Now, here's what we're, we, we, what we're going to be doing with respect to the property in terms of development. Okay. And here's where the opportunity comes before us. Okay. The Allendale Station lands development uh, has been assessed at about $3 million. That's the fair market value. And that's, and that's this basic? Nine area. acres. Nine acres. Nine acres of the full site. So okay. if you look across the site, you know, that's the full nine acres, and there's five acres of, of developable lands, okay? Okay. We're, so we would go to the market, look for $3.3 million for fair market value plus $1.8 million in contributions towards uh, the infrastructure that's being built. So right. there's, there's $4.8 million if you want to write that down. Okay, for, so okay. Where, where, where do I write that? In the clothes and the money? Where, where, you where want to write it down in terms, of, uh, in terms of the sale. So how much? $4.8 million. 4.8. The other thing that we're going to be getting is development charges, billing permit fees, and uh, cash in lieu for park, park land, which is around $5 million. So those are one-time recurring revenues. So okay. $5 million. $5 million. Okay. Richard, we're, 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 we're not done yet, Mark. We're, we're, we've got to wrap this it up is here. Key, this is the key, though. We've got to get this, to the money fast. But this is Show the key. Me. This okay. is the key. Right now. When you have a development of 200,000 square feet on the site, that okay. will generate $1 million in annual revenue. All Tax right. Revenue, $1, million. $1 million in revenue. Okay. So That's what at, I like to hear. When you compare the city's investment not, and, and the city's return, so yep. 9.8 million uh, less what you're seeing here, it doesn't take long to get your return on your investment in under five years. All right. So here, we, what we got then, Richard, is we got an old historic building. We spend up 22 million dollars, eight of which is for concrete. We then go end up with one million in tax revenues and a heck of a lot of money in, uh, in all the returns that we're doing. All right. These are the numbers. Thanks. We'll be right back.